Hi, I'm Sandy Waters. I'm the co-manager of the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, Jester's Gallery, and the galleries themselves. And we're welcoming you to our Living Large exhibit. Hi, I'm Pat Eelman, also co-manager of Jester's and um, co-manager of the gallery spaces. Uh, we're welcoming you to this Living Large exhibit, which is opening January 21st and runs through February 19th. We have 18 artists that have submitted work in a variety of mediums. We have painters, photographers, uh, people that work in watercolor, charcoal, and we also have a quilt. This is large work and it's worth coming by to see in person. Our galleries are open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4 p.m. Um, we hope you come by and check it out. We'd like to really thank our sponsor as well, Davenport, um, for um, supporting the underwriting for the exhibit. This really is unique in that we typically don't see a lot of abstract work in our galleries, and so we're really excited. You really need to see these to believe them, um, everything being large, and that was the idea in Living Large. It's go big or go home, and these artists have definitely gone big, so please join us. My name is Wayne Thomas. I used to be part of the One Past Seven Art Group. I paint pictures of women in safe places where you could hang these pictures anywhere in your home. And they're very bright, and it's not that you are staring at the women, they're staring at you. And that's the way I set them up, and I have a lot in the pictures. So if you get one of these, there's a lot to look at after you get it. And I hope that you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much. This piece is by Alex Burdett. Um, he is a new artist, an up and coming artist in our area from Virginia Beach. And so what's really nice about this exhibit as well is we have some seasoned artists like Ken Wright and Barbara Harris. And we also have a number of new artists who are just starting out. So we're very thrilled to be able to include them in the exhibit. Okay, so right now we're looking at some really different kind of work, uh, whimsical in style by Chris Jean Guinet, who is from Suffolk area. Um, one of the interesting things that Chris does is she uses chalk paint instead of a traditional acrylic paint or oil paint. So her works are intricate, detailed, and very whimsical. Beautiful work to come and see. My name is Alex Ron. I am a French-American artist based out of Norfolk. Uh, I enjoy working on a large scale with my paintings, especially my acrylics, because I appreciate the ability to do grand gestures, do something very expressive during the process as well as what ends up translating on the medium. Uh, the medium 
which is typically wood actually for those larger scales, which is something that I appreciate a lot because it's imperfect and it's something that you have to work alongside with or find a way around. Very telling of life in general and it is something, an approach that I appreciate very much having that parallel happen. Uh, as for the paintings themselves, like in this case, we can really see with the android and the muse is that these are characters and these are more representations of something broader. They don't have uh, necessarily a deeper meaning to them. Uh, it is almost borderline character design to a certain extent and I like leaving up to interpretation how people consider these characters. Uh, and the fact that they are in bright, vivid colors, something that I like seeing on a larger scale something that is more telling of everything going on with how bright it is uh, and how much I can explore those colors especially together on that scale. Uh, it is also a nice reminder of there's always something brighter around. Even on a bleak day in a bleak world I always have very colorful pieces around me and which is what I why I appreciate working large scale with those mediums in particular, those being acrylic and a lot of paint markers. A lot of paint markers have died for these paintings, which is something I'm sure they're very proud of. I know that I am. And uh, as well as looking into a larger scale and vivid colors, these characters are at the same time very much probably more of a personal expressions of how those characteristics or those ideas represent, are represented in my mind, but hopefully you will find something to relate to within them as well. Alrighty, so right now we're looking at work by um, Tom Polk. Tom is a retired Navy pilot, and now he's an incredibly proficient uh, photo realist painter. He uses acrylics, and he is portraying various um, scenes from his Navy days, including some of the aircraft and the ships that he uh, worked on. In addition to Paul's work, we have some photography and we have some works by Glenn McClure, photographer from Norfolk. Uh, this is part of Glenn's uh, ongoing series of old tools. And so he's given old tools new life with uh, some beautiful lighting and studio lighting in his studio in Norfolk. So again, come and see everything that we've got to offer here for this exhibit. So thank you for taking this brief tour with us of the galleries and the Living Large exhibit. Again, a special thank you to Davenport for underwriting the exhibit. And we hope to see you in person. You can see these works online in our gallery shop and they are for sale. So you can log in, come by maybe later and pick them up after the exhibit's over. But again, thank you for joining us and we hope to see you at the galleries.